we are in Lodi, New Jersey, heading over to the Lodi Memorial Library to present a paranormal evening with Ron Yacovetti, Lourdes Gonzalez, and Kim, the Ghost History Medium. Now, let me tell you, I haven't been back in my hometown of Lodi, New Jersey, besides visiting my parents that still live here in a long time. So it was really great when Lodi Memorial Library reached out and they said they would be very open to us going in and presenting the paranormal evening. So here I am driving through these streets I drove as I was a kid and we're heading to the Lodi Memorial Library to present this, this show that we've been bringing around to many libraries in Morris County, Sussex County, and now Bergen County. As I'm looking back at my journey, it's really come full circle because going to Lodi Memorial Library, I remember when I was a kid, that was the library that I would go to because we didn't have Amazon, we didn't have Google, we didn't have all these resources that we have now in bookstores and we could go in and grab a book on the paranormal. We went to the library and I remember this is the genesis of going there and grabbing books by Hans Holzer and the Warrens and books on Sasquatch and UFOs and aliens and paranormal and hauntings that really sparked my interest for the paranormal and here I am all these years later we're going to be presenting at that library you know where it started I remember my first paranormal group was even founded right there you know I remember a bunch of friends and I you know in the mid 1990s saying we're going to have a little group and investigate the paranormal we named ourselves the Perfiles product of the time with how popular the X-Files were so we called ourselves the Perfiles paranormal extraterrestrial research and that lasted all for a few weeks until we started chasing girls instead of chasing ghosts, Bigfoot, and aliens. But, <laughs> but here we are driving the streets of Lodi, New Jersey and heading over to the library. Really excited to present this show. So, see you there. The attendees that got to experience a paranormal evening heard the speakers cover topics that range from paranormal investigating, spirit communication, mediumship, ITC communication, and a static comm session. With every event, we hope as presenters to give the audience a glimpse of our research and also our knowing on the continuity of life and the evidence we experience firsthand that has shown us that light that has made our loved ones who they were does survive physical death. family 
were there that I just left. You know, all of those are kind of big events. And then from there, I'll even peruse um, further into the time frame, and then individuals about that time frame may come to tell me more information about it. Um, not all the time. Sometimes I just get the psychic information, and then that's that. And then an individual will come and want to talk about something else. Um, the individuals that do come to speak to me about a location may be uh, not ghosts. Usually they're not spirits or ghosts. Ghosts are what are considered spirits that are manifesting and doing something. So spirits uh, can be around and not necessarily. Yeah. Hear it? And it's sweeping or scanning through broadcasts. Okay, so that, that is the television we brought up. That is what TV has made what I call the Q-tip of the paranormal, right? You get a cotton swab, that's what it is. People call it, they can give me a Q-tip. It has branded itself with the product. So in the paranormal, instrumental transcommunication, communicating with instruments, or what's called ITC, it's synonymous for most people who watch TV. It's the ghost box that goes sweeping through the broadcast. Um, what we do is an older method that predates that, and then we've updated it. So it started out as DRV, which is direct radio voice. All we use is white noise, and I will play it for you before we do the live demonstration. From that, early EVP researchers used white noise to add audio support to recordings because you're not communicating with something like one of us where you're hearing my voice. That's a vibratory tone that my vocal cords, my larynx is making, they don't have. So to get something vibratory in the room that you can detect, it needs some assistance. So they would use running water, white noise, like a radio, and then with the advent of the electronics age, boom, it's if the voice can come through, and they did. Um, this is why we all do it. This is why we have questions. That as a listening, we're hearing what we want to hear. But in what Ron is saying, as far as me being a pub reporter, that is what I do. That's what I do all day long. So I don't see the connection as it being pareidolia because then I would always have problems at work with my transcripts and what I'm listening to. A standout moment for me during the presentation was when Ron and Lourdes were conducting a staticom session. A bereaved husband was sitting across from Lourdes and asked his wife to come forward with an anniversary date. Well, it didn't come through staticom, but it did come through Lourdes. Lourdes looked at the gentleman and said, 414? The gentleman took a deep breath and said, yes, you're right. That is our anniversary date. That is where the healing is. And it's examples like that that really show you why we are in this field. It's not for ego. It's not for self-promotion. It's to show that there is a continuity to life, that the physical is the only part that does die, but the essence, that soul consciousness that makes us us, does survive physical death. And that was a prime example of it. Throughout the night, we had fantastic communication and our audience all left with a greater understanding of how to communicate with the other side and how spirit is around everyone and everything.